What's up? I just flung apple juice. It's your girl Garisa coming at y'all. I don't know what I just said. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. I'm. As you can tell by the title, I'm doing a bath bomb video, and hope y'all enjoy. Don't forget to like this video, and yeah, you know. Okay, so first you're going to want to add a half cup of baking soda, and you're just going to want to pour that into a bowl, and then a fourth cup of cornstarch, super simple, and then you're going to want to do another fourth cup of Epsom salt, with which soothes muscles and softens skin, super good for sore muscles. You can just put it in your bath too, it's awesome. And then another fourth cup of citric acid, which is a little tricky to find sometimes. I think we got it at Gordon Foods, Gordon Food Service, so I'm not 100% sure. You might have to do, I have to search for that a little bit. But these are totally worth it. And then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of castor oil into a separate container or like cup which um, it like it really moisturizes your skin it's awesome I love castor oil it's very beauty like and then you're gonna want to take an essential oil I'm using rosemary since it's kind of a fall themed um, you can use whatever scent and then I'm just mixing in some coloring I use paint I don't think that's a smart idea I think I would use food coloring or soap coloring, but um, I just, I don't know why I use paint. I guess I wanted more of an orange and I didn't have it. And then you're gonna wanna add a tablespoon of water, which I did just there. And then this is optional, this is glitter. The only bad part with the glitter is that with the castor oil, it kind of sticks to your skin a little bit. So I just wanted to kind of test this out. So I would put less in. Um, so with the castor oil, it kind of like forms a surface on your skin, but it just washes off. Now I am adding the mixture to the dry mixture um, super slowly. And I cannot say that enough, super duper slowly. Just like a teeny weeny drop at a time. Otherwise you can totally activate it and ruin it so the water is what makes it fizz so you that's so so you don't want to add too much at a time otherwise it will just activate it all at once and it will get super like moist and you don't want that Okay, so now that our mixture is done, you can take any type of mold or soap mold or even like a jar or anything. And um, I just put some glitter in it to make it a little bit more lush-like, make it look like a lush bath bomb, but that is optional. You do not have to do that. And then I didn't make enough because this mold is a little bigger than normal. So you kind of have to be careful. Um, just grab us some type of container. These work well. I think we got them from Michael's around Christmas time. So yeah, you just want to put it in a mold and pack it in there nice and tight. And then I actually did have a little bit of enough and I made two. So that's what it should look like.
Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video a whole bunch because I enjoyed filming. It was really fun. And they, the bath bombs worked out super well. Um, I do have to say, thank you. And, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Don't forget to request videos in the comments down below as well. And I will try to do some of them. So.